you have some gauges with plastic uh, lenses on them that are so foggy you can't even see through them. I'll show you how you can make them so they're perfectly legible in just a matter of minutes. Hey sports fans, I have this non-working battery charger and I thought I'd turn it into something useful. I'm going to uh, turn it into a portable uh, self-contained jump starter unit that doesn't need to be plugged in the wall in order to jump start a car. And uh, the gauges on it were so cloudy that you couldn't even read them. And I was wondering how the heck I'm going to be able to take care of that. I thought, looked at the gauges themselves, took them out. I, I couldn't disassemble them. And uh, to do just the lens. So I was wondering how I was going to uh, clean them up so you could read through them. They were so cloudy that uh, it just looked like a piece of translucent glass. You couldn't even see the color through, uh, through them. And uh, to make matters worse, these gauges have a frame around them here that uh, had it recessed. So you really couldn't get into it with a buffing wheel off. Uh, so I was wondering, how the heck am I going to make that so I can read them? Well, what I did to start off with is I took some 400 grit uh, wet dry sandpaper and I wet sanded them. Uh, that got them to the point where you could at least see through them. You couldn't read any of the numbers. Uh, you really couldn't tell what the gauge was for. So I was wondering, how am I going to clean that up more? And I thought and thought, how the heck am I going to do it? Obviously, a buffing wheel isn't going to fit in that recessed uh, uh, lens there with that uh, frame that... Uh, protrudes out from the from the edges. So what I finally thought of is I uh, took a uh, pencil and I just cut it off about uh, well two inches long. Brand new pencil with a nice uh, square eraser. Okay and I used uh, first I went over it with uh, rubbing compound, heavy duty rubbing compound and you don't need very much so you do if you can avoid buying a can of this to do this job, go ahead and do it. If you got a buddy that's into cars, he probably has this stuff, and you only need a thimbleful to do the job. So, you know, he'd probably just give it to you. And then I we went over and did the exact same thing with this polishing compound. And I just want you folks to know that I only spent minutes doing this. This job, I've spent about five minutes with the rubbing compound and five minutes with the uh, polishing compound, maybe even less. Uh, I chucked this uh, pencil into the drill and just ran the drill on the uh, on the lens there and added a little bit of water, just let it dribble in with a paper towel. I had this unit laying face with the back down so I wasn't fighting gravity with the water. So these were laying horizontally. And I can't, I couldn't be happier with the results. These gauges, they're just about as clear as when they were brand new. A um, little bit of crud left in the corners, but you know, this isn't, uh, you know, a show car or anything. I just want to be able to read the gauges. And, uh, boy, you sure can now. I think if you spent a little more time, you could probably get those corners a little better. But I just thought I'd make this video to show how you can restore a gauge with a plastic lens that you can't read through uh, to pretty close to new condition in just a matter of minutes. These gauges on this unit were so bad, the plastic, it was so, like the way headlights get on new cars, uh, it was so uh, foggy, you couldn't even read through it. And uh, they're, they're very small gauges. I took them out. I tried to see if I could take the lens out. I couldn't figure out how to do it. Didn't want to risk breaking the gauge. So I thought and thought and thought, how am I going to take care of this? And what I decided to do is first I went and I sanded them with some uh, 400 uh, grit uh, wet sandpaper. And uh, that got them at least so you could see through them, but they still weren't that good. So now I took a rubbing compound, and it's such a small area, a typical buffer wheel really isn't going to do anything because there's a, this is a ridge here of the frame of this gauge. So a buffer wheel could only get the very center, and I was wondering how the heck am I going to be able to buff that plastic and get in the corners. Uh, even your finger is too big. I was wondering what the heck I could I use. Um, what I ended up doing is I just cut off a pencil a brand new pencil with a nice square eraser and I put it in a drill and that seems to be working pretty good. I'm, I'm starting with some uh, rubbing compound here. Um, so uh, some heavy duty rub rubbing compound. I'll try finishing it with some uh, 
polishing compound. We'll see what they look like when they're done. Maybe I should have taken the before picture, but you can imagine it was basically a translucent piece of plastic that you couldn't even see through. We'll take a look and see what it looks like when I'm done. Um, I put some rubbing compound on the, on the gauges with the, with the uh, pencil chucked in my drill. I cut, off, I cut the pencil off about three inches long. And then I just went like this. I, I also uh, used a paper towel, a wet paper towel, just every once in a while put some drips of water on it uh, to keep it moist. So I'll do this. I'll finish up with some polishing compound and we'll see what it looks like when we're done. All right. Now, I uh, first did this with some heavy-duty rubbing compound and I'm finishing it off with some uh, polishing compound and it looks like it's working pretty good. Uh, I only have a few minutes into this too. So basically what I did is I just... Uh, Put it on the rubbing compound and the polishing compound. Just put it, put it on my finger and a wet paper towel. Just kind of let some liquid, uh, some water, yeah, just drool in there. And I just ran this uh, pencil right there in the drill so I could get pretty well into the corner. And I also covered the whole thing. And I put it back and forth like that. Uh, so it's with the uh, rubbing compound and then with the uh, polishing compound. It seems to be working pretty well. Yeah, the rubbing compound is kind of red in color, uh, kind of rust colored. So you see that on the rag. I just showed you that because uh, the white wouldn't show up on it. But once I got done uh, uh, running the drill with the pencil chucked in it, uh, the eraser, uh, and uh, now I'll now I just uh, just pretty much just wipe off the excess rubbing compound and polishing compound, and let's take a look and see what it looks like when I'm done. I'll just set down the camera and stop filming this because it's going to be a two-handed operation. But I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Then when I was all done, it was just a matter of wiping off the excess rubbing compound and polishing compound with the paper towel. And I went over it again with a wet paper towel, just get all the extra residue off. And then I wiped it clean with a dry paper towel and those gauges look just about like new. I couldn't be happier with the results. These gauges, they're just about as clear as when they were brand new. A um, little bit of crud left in the corners, but you know, this isn't uh, you know, a show car or anything. I just want to be able to read the gauges. And, uh, boy, you sure can now. I think if you spent a little more time, you could probably get those corners a little better. But I just thought I'd make this video to show how you can restore a gauge with a plastic lens that you can't read through uh, to pretty close to new condition in just a matter of minutes. If you like this video, uh, you know, I'd appreciate it if you gave me a thumbs up, liked, shared it, you know, subscribed. And, you know, do all the things it takes to make this... Uh, the number one channel on YouTube. Uh, till then, we'll see you next time uh, here on the Fix Yourself channel.